Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see how to create cloud unit on data domain. For that, I'll be logging into the data domain UI, the DD system manager, as well as DD CLI through Putty. The first and foremost prerequisite over here would be to ensure data domain has the cloud tier license as it is a license feature. For that, we can verify using the command e-license show on the data domain CLI. And I do see a cloud tier capacity license present as permanent and active over here. So we're good. The same thing can be checked from data domain UI. Uh, once you log in, you can go to the administration licenses tab to verify the cloud license is available or not. Okay. The second thing would be to set up network configuration in such a way that the required ports are open. All this is documented in the administration guide of every data domain OS. So uh, the cloud communication happens on HTTPS and HTTP protocol. So accordingly, the required ports need to be open bidirectionally from both the ends uh, for the communication to happen successfully. Okay. The next thing is every cloud provider has a certain requirement of certificate. And for every cloud provider, it is also again documented in the same administration guide. In this session, we are going to integrate Azure Cloud Provider, which requires Baltimore CyberTrust root certificate, which can be downloaded from the DG Cert link that has been provided in the administration guide. Click on which it will be redirected to the link over here. You can download this CyberTrust root certificate in PEM format. Once you download that on your system, we can import it on the data domain. Before importing on data domain, we can check the current certificates existing using the command admin access certificate show. Okay, we see there are no cloud uh, certificate existing as of now. So let's go to the data domain UI to import the certificate. Go to the data management tab, file system tab, On the cloud units tab, you will see a manage certificate option. Click on that. Click on the add button. You will have option to choose file. This will help you browse through the browse through your system uh, to the location where you have downloaded the certificate. So let me upload the certificate here. So once you do that, you can click on add. see the certificate over here click on OK verify the same using the CLI admin access certificate show we can now see the certificate on data domain okay so now the next thing would be to create the cloud profile and cloud unit okay so I'm just going to verify there are no cloud profiles existing on this data domain and there is no cloud unit existing. So now let's create it. Go to the data domain UI under the same tab data management file system under cloud units. You will also see an add button. Click on the add button. Provide the cloud unit name as per your requirement. Any name you can provide it. Select the cloud provider with which you are going to integrate. And now you need to fill in the storage account details, uh, the same that you have created in the cloud provider. Okay. So the storage account that I've created on Azure is the public uh, account type. And it is with this account name and the primary key, the authentication key I have copied from the cloud provider and pasted over here. Okay, then we can click on this verify button. So for the verification to get initiated, 
This will help uh, checking the network connectivity between the data domain and the cloud provider. It will temporarily even create a bucket, list a bucket, and then remove the bucket to verify it's able to uh, do all the required operations, uh, which uh, would be done once a cloud unit would be created. So this verification helps a lot. We now see that the cloud verification has passed. So we can click on add for the cloud unit to be created. Okay, we can see the cloud unit creation is now in progress. We can see that the cloud unit has been successfully created. We can verify the same now on CLI. Cloud profile. Show. We see the provider Azure and the storage account details, same as that I have provided and then the cloud unit list. The cloud unit name that I provided, is a, it is associated with the cloud profile that just got created and the cloud unit state is active. So this confirms that it has been successfully connected to the cloud provider. Also, when I do a DF or file such show space, I'll be able to see its utilization. The size of the cloud tier is currently the licensed size Okay, the used is zero capacity, zero percentage used as of now. Okay, and the same is seen using the command files as show space as well. Okay, same things can be seen from the UI. If you go to the cloud units at the same location, you will be able to see the cloud unit details, status, the cloud provider details and the capacity details. Okay, under data management file system summary tab, you will also be able to see the cloud tier uh, information. Let me just refresh it for it to reflect. So we can now see the size as the licensed size as the cloud unit has been created. Okay, this concludes our session of how to create cloud unit on data domain. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good one. Bye-bye.